Here in this presentation, we will consider strcmp or string comparison function of C string library. So let's get started. Here is the prototype of this function int strcmp within these round brackets const char star s1 comma const char star s2. So we have two pointers here and string comparison function is used to compare these two strings. So it compares s1 and s2 in this case. Okay. And what it returns is it returns a value less than 0 if s1 is less than s2. So it returns some value which is less than 0 if s1 is less than s2. It returns value greater than 0 if s1 is greater than s2 and it returns value equal to 0 if s1 is equal to s2. When we found that s1 is equal to s2 then string comparison function returns value equal to 0. Now here is some important points I would like to mention about the SKI character set. All uppercase letters are less than all the lowercase letters. It should be noted down that all uppercase letters are less than that of lowercase letters. Uppercase letters have SKI codes between 65 and 90 and that of lowercase letters have SKI codes between 97 and 122. So it is clear that all uppercase letters have SKI code less than that of the lowercase letters. Digits are less than letters. It should also be noted down that all the digits are less than that of letters. So 0 to 9 digits have SKI codes between 48 and 57. So it is clear from this fact that these digits are even less than that of the uppercase letters. Right? Spaces are less than all the printing characters. Space character has the value 32 in the SKI set. So it is clear that spaces are less than all the printing characters. Okay? Now, we should note that strcmp considers s1 less than s2 if either one of the following conditions is satisfied. The first condition is when the first i characters in s1 and s2 are same and i plus first character of s1 is less than that of s2. Okay. So first i characters of s1 and s2 are actually matching. Okay. And the i plus first character of s1 is less than that of s2 then we can say that s1 is less than s2. Here is an example to demonstrate this fact. We have an s1 pointer which consists of the string a, b, c, d and we have an s2 which consists of a, b, c, e. When we compare these two strings, we found out that the first three characters of these two strings are matching, right? That means first i characters. Here in this case, three characters are matching and the i plus first character that is the last character is not matching. Here the last character is d and here this is e. When we compare these two characters, we found out that D is actually less than E because D comes before E. So we can say that S1 is less than S2, right? So when we compare these two strings, we got an integer less than 0 and hence this condition is satisfied. So we simply print this string on the screen that is S1 is less than S2. So the output of this program is S1 is less than S2, okay? Let's consider one more example. Here in this case, the first string is A, B, C, E and here we have B, B, C. Here the last characters are matching but the first character itself is not matching. So we just have to check these first characters A and B. Here we can see that A is less than B. So S1 is less than S2. Again, this strcmp function returns integer less than 0. Hence again the output is S1 is less than S2. We don't have to check the rest of the characters because the first character itself is not matching. Okay. If the first character itself is not matching, we just have to check which character is less than that of the other character and then we come to the conclusion. Okay. Now here is the third example. In this case, we have a string B A C E and here we have A B C E. So it is clear that the first character itself is not matching and B is greater than A. So in this case, S1 is greater than S2. Hence, strcmp function returns a value greater than 0. So the else part will get evaluated which means that s1 is greater than or equal to s2 will get printed on the screen. Right? Now here is example 4. The first string is abcd and the second string is also abcd. Right? Hence, strcmp function will return value equal to 0. So again, this else part will get evaluated and hence the output is s1 is greater than or equal to s2. Although we know that s1 is equal to s2. Right? Now after considering all these four examples, let's consider one more condition. All characters of S1 match S2 but S1 is shorter than S2. 
So, strcmp considers S1 less than S2 if this condition is also satisfied. All characters of S1 match S2 but S1 is shorter than S2. That means the length of S1 is less than that of S2. So, we can say that here in this case the first string is ABC and second string is ABCD. So, it is clear that first string is less than second string. So, strcmp returns value less than 0 which means that this printf function will get evaluated and hence the output is S1 is less than S2. From this fact of S1 less than S2, the others are also clear. The two conditions that we have considered are for the S1 less than S2. Similarly, for the S1 greater than S2, the opposite is applied. And for S1 equal to S2, both the strings must be equivalent. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.